is one of the busiest roads in Ethiopia. Key to transport, import, export goods from and to the port of Djibouti. Famously known for its traffic jam and traffic accident. Ethiopia Djibouti Highway. Stretching from the capital Addis Ababa to the port of Djibouti, Ethiopia Djibouti Highway serves over 30,000 vehicles a day, causing high traffic jam. But the worst traffic jam is always seen between Addis Ababa and Dadama. The situation negatively affects the smooth transportation of import and export of goods from and to the port of Djibouti. The total length of uh, Addis to, to Djibouti is more than uh, 800 kilometers, maybe about 120 kilometers. When you see the uh, length of uh, Addis Awasa, the new road, uh, it is about uh, 75 kilometers. And then when you see the proportion out of the total, uh, total corridor length, which is more than 800, uh, this is a small part of the corridor. But when you see the, uh, the volume of traffic, the Addis Adama, uh, at some stretch, it is serving for about, it is serving almost about uh, 30,000 vehicles per day. When you see the total corridor between Addis and uh, Djibouti, it could, be, it could vary between 2,000 and 3,000. And therefore, the, bottom, the, the, the bottleneck is the road that stretches between Addis and Djibouti. Any tracker that comes or that, uh, that starts driving from Djibouti, uh, he can come smoothly up to Adama. But now, after reaching Adama to reach Addis, it will take maybe three, four, three or uh, four uh, hours. To make the traffic jam worse, towns founded along Addis Adama Road are expanding to each other from time to time. The high traffic jam between the towns increases the travel time to reach Addis Ababa or Adama. Addis Adama Expressway came as a solution for the long-standing problem. The expressway that connects the capital Addis Ababa with Adama, which is the busiest corridor in the country, is financed by Ethiopian government and the government of China with 612 million US dollars. From Yalisaba to Adama, that is totally, totally is about 78 kilometers, not including about Frantic's Road. The Frantic's Road, for, you, for example, is in the Adama area, most of the side is about 7 kilometers, that means about another 14. So the total is about Ling Road, is something like that, is more than about 30, more than 30 kilometers, like that. So also you see the widening, the widening of, the, of this road is, is, is 30, 31. 31 meters wide. It's a 31 meters wide. Both side, for both for both side, is three lines. And the intention and the plan of this uh, new motorway is to maybe to give a better road and to give uh, or to reduce the travel time uh, as much as possible to the commuters and to the travelers between that commute between uh, Addis Ababa and Adama and. Uh, <coughs> We assume or we expect that after the completion of this road, the travel time between uh, Addis and Adama will be reduced from about uh, three hours to about 45 uh, minutes, which will be uh, a big benefit to the travelers and commuters between, uh, uh, between Addis and Adama. Addis Adama Expressway was started in April 2010. A number of works, including earthworks, the structural works and pavement works have been carried out over the last two years. According to a report submitted to Ethiopian Roads Authority in September 2012, the actual progress of the construction work is faster than the said plan. Uh, when you, you drive from the Addis Ababa to Muju area, even you see in, the, uh, in the Adama Sun area, we have been uh, calling by asphalt. Now, you see, because this is DB project, the, the measurement is different. So, you see, for example, we have been finalized about earthwork. It's almost about 90, 99, 90, 95%, something like that. All the bridges, as you see, is finalizing now. In the, in the covering, you only remain about one or two covering, not finalizing, almost finalized. So in asphalt, almost we have been doing half. 
So now time, time is past about almost about six percent. Uh, for our earthwork of this project, almost earthwork can finish end of this month. Uh, can reach to the port of the Caminear. And uh, for the uh, pavement works, I think if you have visited on site from kilometer zero to kilometer 46, almost the asphalt is finished. Only remains some, some jumped due to some, we have some uh, remove works for, for stay there, but for not for long, not for long vacation. And also for some pavement works in the behind in the big side from kilometer 46 to kilometer uh, 60 something, also f some secation for pavement also start of the works. At seven percent of structural works, which include the construction of six interchanges, eight main bridges, and 43 over bridges, underpasses and others have been carried out over the past years. This project is designed and built. It's a new, uh, it's a new thing about for for the construction and also, uh, also for the uh, for ours. So, for this DB project, we have been done before in our uh, not in Tobia but in other countries. So before we do about this DB project, we first do the feasibility. In so many investment about the environment for also resources. What is the, where we can get resources to finalize about this, this and so so. Upon its completion, a Adama Expressway will reduce transportation time substantially as compared with existing Adama Road. Uh, the completion of this project will reduce the uh, total travel time uh, for the trackers uh, that commute between Addis and Djibouti because the highly congested road section is between Addis Ababa and Adama. It is not between Adama and Awash or between Adama and the border of Djibouti. And therefore, it is a very important, critical road in the country. When it's constructed from the, from, Yaris, from the Yaris Ababa to Adama, I don't think about more than one and a half hours. The Addis Adama Expressway, which passes through the towns of Dukam, Bishoftu in the southeast direction, and Mojo to the east is unique to the country. When it goes operational, its economic and social significance is expected to be huge. And we hope that uh, all the travelers uh, that every day commute between Addis and Adama will have or will reduce their journey time. Um, they will have savings um, in the travel time, savings in fuel, savings in uh, vehicle operating costs. And therefore we will have, this will have a big impact on the economic activity not only between Addis and Adama, but uh, for all the commuters uh, that even go beyond uh, Adama to Awasa and to Awash. When it's finalized, there will be a change about the situation of the transportation from Yaris Abad to Adama. Because also it is criminal reward from this road from the Yaris Abad to Djibouti. Only in the war, only, only in the harbor to Djibouti way. Also, you see the exact road now is so busy. Since, so I think about when the project is completed, they will, they will make a big change in the, for, for the Utopia. Once we complete this road, it could be very easier for uh, any Ethiopian, for any citizen, either to work in Adama or to work in Addis, while living in Adama or living in Addis. Because now we are decreasing the travel time from three hours to 45 minutes. It's just like going, just like going from Mexico Square to, uh, say, Magananya. And therefore, this will have a big impact in the uh, mobility of the people. You can have your business in Adama while you live in Addis, or you can have your business in Addis while you live in Adama, because now the journey time is reduced by about maybe 60 or 70 percent. So that is the most important thing of this, uh, of this motorway. China has long experience and accumulated knowledge in road construction. Since many Ethiopian engineers, technicians and other employees are working with them, there would be a skill and knowledge transfer between people of the two countries. For both sides, 
for Chinese in local in the local local people. We are all doing job together. So in China, we are only come here. Most of most of them is uh, engineer. They just give some instruction for the local people. So the local people make struct actually about practic practical. So based about this one, we understanding about some regulation in the regulation in the standard like that. And also we when the uh, when one new uh, new job is start, we make about the progress. How can do about this progress? So also the Utopia people they can understand about this this job and how how can do the jobs. Even they even some for, for example, sometimes they cannot, they, they can't do about some jobs. Is we can instruct about and also study each other to just the base of, to study about the jobs, how to can finalize it. So, in the program, in the process of the construction, both of them we study, study each other. Also sharing both sides about the experiment. Well, the contractor is a Chinese contractor, uh, but uh, this does not mean that all the uh, staff, all the employees are Chinese. Uh, they also employ Ethiopian engineers, uh, Ethiopian technicians, Ethiopian laborers, and uh, definitely, whether it is small or big, there will be uh, a transfer of knowledge, uh, a transfer of technology from the expatriates to the uh, Ethiopian engineers and uh, Ethiopian uh, Employees uh, for some new uh, technician viewpoints, which uh, we can first share in the office, and then we together go to the site to get some training, and uh, then we can make understand the same understand. And uh, uh, for example, for the podcast, they have some new technician. For example, for the tension, and I think that that that. Uh, uh, technology for the era project that is the first one. So we have bring some log structure inspector with us together go to there and uh, we just uh, share together jointly with contractor to start of the first gutter beam. And after finish of that one, the the log engineer can understand how can control in the next and uh, in the future in the more. I started working with Chinese before 10 years when they constructed these Ababa ring roads. I've also worked with them in Walaga. While working with them, I've gained a lot of experience and skills. Before joining them, I didn't know about road construction. Therefore, I'm benefiting much in developing my skills. In this project, the uh, Chinese, the contractor, are working maybe 14, 15, 16 hours. This is a new culture to the Ethiopian contractor and to, and to the Ethiopian employees. And therefore, we cannot confine the uh, lessons the Ethiopian workers can uh, gain from the uh, Chinese contractors. It's not only the knowledge and the technology, but also the work culture is the most important thing. The attitude, the behavior, the work culture of the Chinese to the Ethiopian contractors and to the Ethiopian uh, workers, uh, I think that is the most important thing. There were some technical challenges that have been facing while constructing this expressway. To solve the problems, the Ethiopian government has been supporting contractors through Ethiopian Roads Authority. Ethiopian Road Authority gave us about so many support, just to solve this, solve this problem. When we have some any problems, we, we just report about the Ethiopian Road Authority. They, they, they ask the local government, give us about so many support to solve the problem immensely. That's also why we are, within the two years, now we see about all the asphalt is covered from the Muju to, uh, uh, to Yalisa. Like any other development activities in Ethiopia, Addis Adama Expressway has created job opportunities to a number of local communities. They are supporting their family by the money they earn from the project. In terms of creating job opportunity, it is a nice thing. We are really benefiting much from it. Since we are developing our skills, it will be helpful for the country itself. We are employed about more than 5,000 5, people here, of the local people. They are enjoying our arts. They sometimes 
if when the first the first people is labor, but after that when small training they are became step by step became farmers, mechanic operation, and then maybe some technicians something like that. If some people is smart, 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 they are they are big, they are also study. They are big became step. Step by step, get more professional. In any road construction project, quality control is all about elimination of unqualified factors on quality by supervising the course of quality forming to achieve requirements of quality. Well, the project is uh, it belongs to the to the Ethiopian authority. Uh, it is ours. We have to administer the uh, the uh, the contract. We have to monitor to see whether the uh, project is uh, constructed as per the specifications, as per the, uh, as per the contract. We are also supported by uh, an engineer or supervisor. But the important thing is that uh, ERA or the Ethiopian Authority supported or uh, helped by the engineer or supervisor. It is our duty and responsibility that this project is implemented uh, as original as much as possible as per the original cost, as much as possible is that it has to be completed within the given uh, contract period and as much as possible as per the uh, standards that have been agreed before the signing of the contract. The contractor, every month, they have a month program. End of the month, they will, be, they will st submit to us and uh, we will check on that report what actually the finish on site. The, uh, the monthly, monthly program report is, is follow on site or not. And also if some IT is, is uh, less than the planning, uh, the contractor will support the proposal to how can repair it to up to the planning or behind of the planning again. Uh, every month we have taken the joint meeting uh, follow the site, uh, not for actual date. Some, sometimes, many times, we have taken the program meeting to discuss what's, pro what's problem on site. If that ag activity is affect say, for the planning, we have discussed and we have found the good solution. The, for the uh, quality control. For example, if today you're on site, I think you can check, you can, you can see around, the, uh, around some the structure backfill. We have make nearby layer. For example, from bottle number zero to number one, number two, number three, one layer by one layer, we have make cleared. And uh, for each structure, uh, the contractor before start backfill, he should be cleared and give us request. And uh, after that one, he feel for, for one year after finish, he will give us, he will check by himself. If it's meeting of the requirement, they will write the request to us. Then from our side, then we'll arrange our site inspector and uh, with the technician to check together on site. And uh, if the meeting requirement, we have signature on site. It's uh, for this layer, it's reached for the increment, the contract can start of the next one. If for this layer, they not, if for this layer, they not meeting of the requirement, they should be do again. According to Director General of Ethiopia Roads Authority, Zaid Olda Gabriel, the lessons learned from this project is very helpful for the country. Uh, Addis Adama Motorway is the um well, this is the first in kind uh, for ERA and for the country. Uh, we have drawn a lot of uh, lessons that could be used for other projects because we have also an intention uh, and a plan. If the uh, finance could be mobilized, we have an intention and a plan to continue up to Awasa and to continue up to the uh, Awash River for the time being. In fact, the country has a big economy and uh, we should not only uh, restricted to uh, maybe to, to the limit of Awasa or, uh, or Awash River. We have also to think of uh, other directions uh, to east, west, north of Addis. In general, the total project progress has reached more than 60%. The remaining 40% is expected to be finalized until April 20, 2014.